Those on a honeymoon need the perfect backdrop to fulfill their passionate fantasies. Uber Guide is here to nurture couples in search of their dream love spot. Lavish displays of affection are fully legal here. We're counting down the most romantic honeymoon resorts. We begin our journey in the city that never sleeps. New York has long been a favorite destination for those looking for a sexy, sophisticated, romantic trip of a lifetime. And nowhere in the city is love cultivated more than in Central Park. And just across the street is where Uber Guide kicks things off, the Ritz-Carlton Central Park. There's no hotel chain on the planet quite like Ritz-Carlton. We opened our first hotel in uh, the U.S. in Boston in 1927. Uh, it is one of the most recognized luxury brands of any industry in the world. The location is literally second to none. The address is the most prestigious in the world. The Ritz-Carlton Central Park, the main thing about it, of course, is its location. It's looking over New York's most beautiful green space. So basically, you can't get a better location. Nothing is as romantic as a carriage ride around the park. Opened in 2002 in a building built back in the 1930s, the service is personalized and top-notch. We were positioned to be a five-star, uh, mobile five-star and AAA five-diamond hotel. To, to earn those designations, you have to be staffed to provide a level of personalized service that is you know, really unique and very refined. Upon entering the hotel, the first thing you notice is the fabulous lobby and the famous bar, the Star Lounge. The Star Lounge itself is kind of the living room of the hotel. It's you know quite a hangout for, uh, for celebrity watching and, and really just some very interesting people. The hotel's fab flower arrangements add an erotic aroma to a honeymoon here. They're courtesy of the Queen's Florist. We selected Jane Packer as the uh, florist for our hotel. Jane Packer's based in London. You know, she's very talented, she's, she's very well known, uh, very, very creative. Jane actually has done um, all different celebrities from, um, she did royal wedding flowers for Sarah and Andrew. She also has done flowers for Madonna, John Galliano. We work with the right departments within the Ritz to give us information on uh, the couple themselves, whether they have a particular flower or a theme that might, they might be carrying through their wedding. The hotel's main restaurant, the BLT Market, has garnered a reputation as the very best in the city. Plus, it's the perfect place to stare tenderly into the eyes of your lover. The BLT Market is a gr truly great restaurant. I really love that place for a couple of reasons. One is its location. It's right by Central Park, so it's in a lovely part of, of New York City. But also, Laurent Torondel's um, approach to cooking at that restaurant is so fresh and so modern. Everything is based on what's available seasonally at the market. After a little foreplay in the restaurant, the only place to go is up up to one of the priciest suites in the city. The best room in the house goes for $12,000 a night. With a multi-million dollar art collection with, uh, within all the suites, in our two big suites, the, just the cost of the, the linens on the bed that were custom made for us is about $12,000 for each set of linen. What they do is they try not to take away from the view. The furnishings and the decor actually add to the colors of the park, and I like that about it. And if sashaying down Fifth Avenue, shopping the world's best brands gets your love juices flowing, then you're in luck. If you go out our front door and turn right, uh, your first cross street that you'll hit is Fifth Avenue. And uh, you can go right down the street from everything from Bergdorf to, uh, you know, Nike and the NBA store. 
Despite the pleasures surrounding the hotel, nothing quite satisfies like spending the evening relaxing in your Uber suite, honeymooning with your partner, and enjoying the pinnacle of New York's hospitality, the Ritz-Carlton Central Park. Uber Guide's number 10 pick on our list of the most romantic honeymoon resorts. We now turn our sights to the Pacific Northwest of North America, a region home to soaring mountain peaks, towering trees, crisp clean air, and of course, the Pacific Ocean. A remote area of Canada's Vancouver Island is where Uber Guide's number nine pick makes its home, the Wiccan Inish Inn. At this resort, it's all about rustic elegance. Nature lovers look no further. The location is just so beautiful on that promontory with the old growth forest behind you and then the ocean in front. It's located on a two and a half kilometer beach called Chesterman Beach, which is basically a big white sandy beach that stays unpopulated most of the year round. The Wick is rustic elegance meets nature, and it's the perfect vantage point to storm watch. And the best part of the Wick? The romance meter is definitely cranked on 10 all the time. I think it's romantic, so <laughs> especially with the ocean and balconies and that, so you can just look out on the ocean. It's got some deck chairs. Making your stay truly memorable is the attention to detail and top-notch service. The cornerstone of the Wiccan Inishin is the service we provide to our guests. So for example, we have two staff members for every guest. The rooms are suitably appointed love nests, with the canopy suite flying high above the rest. Our most high-end suite is what we call our canopy suite. A beautiful large bedroom, it's got a canopy bed, it's got a huge gas-burning fireplace, floor-to-ceiling windows right over Chesterman Beach and onto the ocean. If you do choose to leave your cuddle cabana because your culinary cravings need some satisfaction, the Point Restaurant will take your breath away. It is an incredibly romantic place to have dinner. 240 degree view of the ocean, the candlelight bouncing off the windows, and then the extremely good food that comes out. It's just an incredible experience. Probably one of the most beautiful places you, you, you could actually be in, in an environment like this. It's so full of passion, you know, it's just the passion of the food, the passion of the service, the passion of, of, the, of, of, the, of the resort, and sitting in the dining room and sharing a glass of wine and a beautiful meal. I don't think you can get much better than that for sure. With the sweeping ocean out front or the old growth forest behind, the Uber activities at the Wick are endless. Everything from whale watching, bear watching, nature hikes, guided bird watching tours, kayaking, there's overnight kayaking tours. But staying indoors here can be just as interesting as what you'll see outside. That's a western red cedar formed by the sea, just as rugged and natural as, as the day we brought it in. So the focal point of the library here, you see those three volumes, the uh, first edition copy of Captain George Vancouver's uh, Voyage of Discovery. It was published in 1798. In fact, Vancouver Island is named for Captain George Vancouver. But let's face it, honeymooners don't want to hear about history. They want to make it. And the ancient Cedar Spa sets just the right relaxing mood. If you're a nature lover, that is the place to go for a honeymoon. And it's not that it's just the nature. The rooms are very well done. It's very luxurious. But once you have that kind of backdrop, it's hard to even you know, worry about the hotel itself because it's so perfect where it is. So for a truly inspired honeymoon with a touch of the wild, the Wiccan Inish Inn offers all the luxurious touches a couple could ever want, which is why it rings up at number nine on our Uber list. We take a peek inside a lover's hideaway on one of the most famous strips of beach in the world when Uber Guide's countdown of the most romantic honeymoon resorts returns. Uber Guide is back, and we're counting down the most romantic honeymoon resorts. We're now about to check out number eight on our list. Hawaii is an extraordinary pearl in the middle of the Pacific. Mark Twain once called it the loveliest fleet of islands anchored in any ocean. 
On the main island of Oahu lies arguably the most famous stretch of beach in the world, Waikiki. Waikiki is such a popular honeymoon destination because it's so easy, the beach is gorgeous, you have great shopping, wonderful places to eat, all of these right on the strip. This is also where UberGuide's next pick makes its home, the Halakulani Hotel. Halakulani translates as our house befitting heaven, which to us suggests the sense of a home, away from home for our guests. In a setting like Waikiki, it isn't difficult to create an atmosphere that exudes romance, but the Halakulani puts something extra in the air. Halakulani is very understated, very, very intimate, and I think that that's one of the reasons why people really love to go there. It's a time of revitalization, a retreat, and contemplation. It's about a magical experience. It's about creating memories for the guest. Each room features at least 15 personalized amenities, flat screen televisions, and the prerequisite for any tropical honeymoon, a deep soaker tub. But if a regular room just won't do, there's the Vera Wang suite. There are a few people who know the wedding world better than Vera Wang, so obviously she's decorated that with every sort of honeymoon touch that you could want. Vera Wang is one of the world's premier wedding dress designers, so a night in her suite definitely sets your honeymoon apart. It is truly not a hotel suite. The Vera Wang suite is a direct reflection of Vera's preference for how she would live and retreat if she were spending time in Hawaii. With two staff members for every room, the service here is unsurpassed in the Aloha State. Nowhere is this more apparent than in the amazing culinary choices arrayed before Halakilani guests. There are three amazing restaurants to choose from. Or you can roll up your own sleeves and make some of the famous Halakilani chocolates. Honeymooners who tire of dining, or other indoor activities, certainly have no shortage of decisions to make. It's just a fantastic place to visit. It's right on the beach. But there's also a beautiful pool with this orchid mosaic at the bottom. Wonderful spa where they do things like hibiscus scalp massage. People who are going to Hawaii, they want to have a romantic, beautiful time, but it doesn't need to be over the top. That's why the property, I think, works so well. What is better than sitting on Waikiki at sunset and having a Mai Tai? It's pretty romantic. The Halakulani Hotel, a love-inducing spot with a little hula flavor. It's number eight on Uber Guide's list of the most romantic honeymoon resorts. We now head to the Dominican Republic, an oasis of sensuality. It's become a favored destination for those seeking a tropically flavored love adventure, which is why it comes in at number seven. There are literally hundreds of resorts that dot the Dominican's coastline, and they all offer the complete couple package. Let's face it, you can't have a honeymoon without a wedding. And does anything top a beach ceremony? At Paradisa's Punta Cana Resort, this is their specialty. An all-inclusive hotel, for just one price, the Punta Cana Resort delivers on every single desire, plus offers a great selection of activities. There's also Hotel Barcello Palace, a fantastic site for the requisite garden wedding that must come before the honeymoon shifts things into high gear. But the ultimate venue for a Dominican passion fest is definitely Paradisus Palma Real Resort. Palma Real is a real life fantasy. Nothing is impossible here. Gorgeous ocean, High white columns, marble floors, high palm trees, and you just get an amazing relaxed feel from the moment you step into the hotel. They have a unique program specifically tailored for couples. It couldn't have gone any more perfect than it did. Everything was perfect. 
And for those on their honeymoon, can you do any better than relaxing with this gorgeous backdrop illuminating your senses? We're on our honeymoon. We wanted to go to a place that we've never been to. As soon as you walk in the resort, it's beautiful. And then obviously once you get to the beach and you have your own hut and you're on the sand, and it's a good time. The Palma Real also offers uber exclusive service. You can have your pillow personally scented with coconut. You can also receive our 24 hour butler service. Our butler took very good care of us, made things as romantic as possible. He even drew us the bath with candles and roses and chocolate covered strawberries one night. Even Palma Real's cuisine is prepared especially with lovebirds in mind. What we try to do here is speak with our couples and find out what are their own inner passions and we'll create a plate that's going to reflect their own passion in their eating styles. So if you want a honeymoon that includes the wedding, the Dominican Republic will take you to heaven. We're in paradise and we're enjoying every minute of it. Yes, absolutely. The only thing the Dominican Republic doesn't do is supply a suitable partner. You're on the hook for that but it does do everything possible to ensure the sparks are flying. Which is why it comes in at number seven on Uber Guide's super list. Coming up next, we hit a Mexican Uber resort frequented by the A-list. Uber Guide's countdown of the most romantic honeymoon resorts will be back in a moment. So far, Uber Guide's search for the world's most romantic honeymoon resorts has taken us from New York City to the Dominican Republic. We're now zeroing in on number six. Mexico lays claim to some of the globe's most stunning landscapes. The land of the ancient Aztec and Mayan civilizations, it has a rich cultural heritage that seeps into almost every area of life. For lovebirds, Mexico has some stunning sensual sunspots, with none better than Cabo San Lucas. Located at the southernmost tip of the Baja Peninsula and at the merging of the Pacific Ocean and the Sea of Cortez, Cabo, as it's affectionately called, offers a unique party atmosphere. The perfect reason why Uber Guide's next pick is found here. One and only Palmilla, a tropical hideaway with a history. Built in 1956 by the son of Mexico's then president, Palmilla recently experienced a $95 million upgrade that has placed it in the company of the very best resorts on the planet. One and only Palmilla is located in Los Cabos, Mexico. And the feeling, the architecture, and the whole experience is distinctly Mexican. We maintain a sense of the history, but we've brought it forward so that the hacienda sense has actually been elevated to a sense of supreme luxury. Certainly Cabo is already well known for very luxurious private resorts, but one and only La Familia has taken it sort of to another stage. And a lot of celebrities from Hollywood are going down there for long weekends or getaways because it is very private. It was a favorite of people like Lucille Ball and Desi Arnaz, President Eisenhower, Hemingway, really became a classic, amazing Mexican experience. The Mexican sunshine is what brings most guests here, and Palmia's wonderful outdoor amenities turned those sunbeams into something extra special. It's a really spectacular pool experience. There's another alternative too for our guests, and these are private coves and beds on the beach that you can actually rent for the day. Plus, Palmilla has been ranked among the top 100 golf resorts in the world. Palmilla has its own Jack Nicklaus designed golf course. It's called the one and only golf course. And many of our guests like to play golf at least once or twice while they're down there. And golf isn't all you can do. The spa experience at one and only Palmia is, is actually very much an outdoor type of experience. There are a whole array of activities that one can partake in while they're staying there for a honeymoon. You can go into the desert and we actually have adventure tours that you can take out there with a dune buggy. You can actually go deep sea fishing. Whale watching is a very big sport in Los Cabos. It's a very, very active type of environment. Those looking to tie the knot before the honeymoon begins will find an enchanting chapel. 
Many celebrity couples have become one here over the years. Honeymooners have a room selection fit for a king. So your room itself has some very special things. I think the bathrooms are particularly beautiful. The villas themselves are very luxurious with terraces overlooking the Pacific Ocean. And the food is to die for. Charlie Trotter is a world-renowned chef, and he opened Sea Restaurant at One and Only Palmia when we finished our renovation a few years ago. It's a very beautiful space. Great seafood and the Mexican-style eatery as well. The second restaurant at One and Only Palmia is called Agua. It's outdoor, Palapa-style dining. It is so beautiful. It is so romantic. Cabo itself is just such a phenomenon, I guess, because it's also three hours from L.A. on this stretch of beach, but becomes more and more popular every year, and one and only Pamilla really has sort of encapsulated what is beautiful about it. There simply aren't many resorts anywhere that can match what Palmia has to offer, which is why it comes in at number six on Uber Guide's countdown of the most romantic honeymoon resorts. We now head north to a place where you can mingle with celebrities on the shopping beat, Rodeo Drive in Beverly Hills. From yellow luxury sedans and super speedy sports cars to uber expensive shops and gawking star seekers, Rodeo Drive is the closest mortals can come to attaining materialistic nirvana. But once the shopping is over and the honeymoon begins, where should you go to escape the crowds? The Hotel Bel Air, Uber Guide's number five pick on our romantic honeymoon resort list. I think the Hotel Bel Air is really trying to be the counter to the more glitzy, chaotic, celeb sighting places. It is not somewhere where there's this huge nightlife scene or tons of things going on. It's really for someone who wants to get away from it all. It's just minutes from Beverly Hills, so you do feel you're close enough to the city, but you're in this exclusive private club. Celebrities and politicians and royalty come and stay when they come to LA. Hotel Bel Air is a very private experience. It's a very personal experience. It's more residential. All the rooms have individual entrances, and they all are individually interior decorated. They want you to feel like you're having a private, intimate experience. Established in 1946, Hotel Bel Air is encircled by 12 acres of lush gardens and towering trees. With a recent $22 million facelift, guests can enjoy the resort's private courtyards, bubbling fountains, and wrought iron terraces. This Uber resort not only offers a romantic honeymoon aura, it's also the perfect venue to pop the question. Plus, weddings can be held both indoors or out. The private surroundings mean true bliss is permanently in the air. It's almost kitsch in terms of it being so romantic, but because it's so well done, it never slides into that. And I think that's why it's such a popular honeymoon destination in the first place. With a nightly price tag topping out in the vicinity of $4,000, the staff will do just about anything to satisfy your desires, especially if you're into flowers. Lots of flowers. Orchids, peonies and roses. The camellias will bloom ever so gently throughout the entire landscape, so yes, it's very sweet. Your quest for individuality is definitely at its end here. Of the 91 rooms, no two are alike. But considering the scenery outside your room, you may not stay indoors for long. The impeccable grounds create a serene and peaceful atmosphere. We're known for our sycamores. We have some beautiful uh, royal palms, which are unusual for this particular location. 
This is an elephant ear fig tree, and it's unique to California. We even have a sequoia grove, which you see in Northern California, which you don't see in Southern California. Beautiful specimens and not found in many places at all. You feel like you're in this beautiful kind of garden wonderland in the center of LA. And I think that's one of the really appealing aspects to it. Once it's time to de-stress from all that love making, then Hotel Bel Air's swimming pool can provide a refreshing and invigorating dip. Or just check in at the well-appointed gym. I call the Hotel Bel Air a little slice of heaven. Beautiful ambiance, romance. You just can't put your finger on it until you get there. It's just to die for. If you lust after privacy and ultra luxury, then the Hotel Bel Air is just what the love doctor ordered. And that's why it's number five. Coming up next on Uber Guide's countdown of the most romantic honeymoon resorts, a passion-filled hotel that brings the history and charm of Italy to a whole new level. Welcome back. On our tour of the world's most romantic honeymoon resorts, we've hit some hotties, and it's only about to get better. On the shores of Italy's picturesque Lake Como sits one of the world's grand hotels, Villa d'Este. A monument to a bygone era, it exudes luxury, class, and sophistication. It's also number four on Uber Guide's love list. Built in 1568 by a Roman cardinal, Villa d'Este has been owned by, among others, a ballerina, one of Napoleon's generals, a queen without a crown, and a Russian empress. In 1873, it became a hotel, and ever since, it's been the definition of Italian hospitality. Villa d'Este is probably Italy's most famous hotel one of the oldest for good reason. The location is spectacular right on the lake. And of course, celebrities like George Clooney have bought houses nearby. Como Lake was known as the as Hollywood on the lake. So we had all the most famous actors coming to visit here from Greta Garbo to Clark Gable, Liz Taylor. Stars love Villa d'Este for the same reason honeymooners do. This is fancy territory. If you want to feel like you're going on a honeymoon in another century to sort of old world Europe, it's one of the places to go. Once we enter the gate, Villa d'Este is like entering a, a really a different world, a world of timeless elegance, surrounded by beautiful nature and uh, all the history of this building. The service is very attentive old school, so even though it's not a small hotel, you feel very well taken care of. This sort of feeling of being a noble or a royal, Italian royalty. Villa d'Este has been a fountain of inspiration for many generations of poets, artists, celebrities. So I think for the same reason, uh, the honeymooners can find in Villa d'Este a unique atmosphere. Satisfying the palate here isn't a difficult endeavor. The hotel has three restaurants, each serviced by a culinary staff that has only your best interests in mind. We only select the finest raw materials. For instance, we present our guests with caviar, foie gras, with champagne, with lobster, with the finest Italian wines. One of the dishes has foie gras, lobster, caviar, and salmon. It sounds a little over the top, but I think it represents the kind of, you know, people who are coming there. The rooms create a sensual environment that is sure to fuel the most exotic honeymoon desires. Every single room is different uh, from the other. They have their own uh, style. The rooms are very sumptuous and lavish, with antiques and brocades and lots of velvets. Plus, the activities offered outside are almost as pleasurable as what's available in your room. 
We offer uh, quite an extensive uh, possibility for activities. The wonderful floating pool on the lake, uh, which was built in the 70s and is the center of the life during the summer months. You can water ski, you can windsurf. There's a fabulous spot. In fact, the spa has been chosen as one of the world's best. But then, that's not surprising. Is there anything at Villa d'Este that isn't first class? In terms of somewhere to go on your honeymoon, you have everything right there. Beautiful scenery, and again, this sort of feeling of being a noble or a royal Italian royalty. Because of its location on romantic Lake Como, and because it's nearly impossible to find an equal anywhere in the world, Italy's Villa d'Este is number four on Uber Guide's countdown of the most romantic honeymoon resorts. We now jet to the entertainment capital of America. Las Vegas offers honeymooners a tantalizing array of treats. Gourmet dining, sumptuous suites, spectacular stage productions, world-class spas, a pulse-pounding nightclub scene, and more. And the Uber spot in Vegas to get cushy with your new honey is definitely the Wynn Resort, number three on Uber Guide's list. The Wynn is a honeymoon destination all into itself. It's just an amazing place for a bride to get married in Las Vegas. A perfect getaway for honeymooners, this place is for adults only. You won't find any screaming babies or unaccompanied kids here. It's just for love of the grown-up variety. It's very contemporary and streamlined, but warm and effusive. And the people, the staff there, it just they're amazing. And they'll, they'll actually make any of your dreams or wishes come true. As you would expect, Wynn has all the facilities and support services at the ready for that required honeymoon precursor. This is the home of the ultimate destination wedding. If you actually take the opportunity of working our surroundings areas in the resort, you can see how absolutely fabulous areas we have in here. This is our beautiful Primrose Courtyard. This is our Lavender Salon. We also have dressing rooms available for all the brides. After being married in whatever setting suits your fancy, head to your private tower suite. It comes complete with its own exclusive check-in lobby and has every appointment necessary to anticipate your romantic desires. To honeymoon at Wynn would be like to, in some ways, die and go to heaven. Then there's Wynn Resort's other eye-popping recreational opportunities, not the least of which is the extraordinary 18-hole golf course. Formerly the legendary Desert Inn course, the Wynn Golf and Country Club was completely reimagined by developer Steve Wynn and celebrated golf course designer Tom Fazio. Once folks uh, check in with us to play golf, we really want to feel like they've been, been removed from, from anything else and just get a chance to really experience a wonderful golf course here that, that ironically is located in the middle of the Las Vegas Strip, but you really feel like you've been transported to another land almost. Then there's the Penske Wynn Ferrari Maserati dealership, another Uber exclusive for honeymooners with a platinum credit card. First of all, one of the most recognizable symbols in the world is the prancing horse. This car will go 210, 220 miles per hour. While He-Man checks out the hot cars, She-Ra can experience the Esplanade, Wynn's high-end shopping avenue where you'll find luxurious shops as well as culinary adventures. The Lake of Dreams show has become one of Wynn's premier attractions. Spanning over 20,000 square feet, the production employs thousands of underwater LED fixtures in a surrealistic multimedia extravaganza. To top it off, you can dine in one of the many restaurants that offer a full view of the free show. Or perhaps you'll save your appetite for the resort's superb ristorante. You can take part in Bottle Auto's dining. He has the freshest seafood, which he sometimes personally picks from Italy flown over here. Then there's the formal elegance of Alex, where award-winning chef Alessandro Strada brings the cuisine of the French Riviera to perfection. This table is just for you, nice and quiet. 
uh, people leave you alone, or if you care to uh, see a little bit of the action in the kitchen, uh, we can open up what we call our fish tank, and then you can get to see everything going on. After a romantic evening in Alex, you'll want to take in the spectacular Le Rev production, staged in a 2,000-seat circular theater created by Franco Dragoni of Cirque du Soleil fame. The rooms will be wonderful. The dining will be magnificent. You'll go home with a memory that'll last you a lifetime. Steve Wynn's bold imagination has shaped this resort, and you'll have no problem using your own imagination, satisfying your honeymoon partner here at the Wynn Resort, number three on our super list. We're nearing the end of our journey. The hottest, most romantic honeymoon resort is just around the corner. But coming up next, a trip to the ritziest hotel in the city of love. Here we are, on the cusp of hitting the most romantic honeymoon resort in the world. But before we get there, let's check out Super Suite number two. Of all the romantic places on Earth, can anything top the city of love? Paris is where passion comes alive, where honeymooners' souls find true bliss. There's something in the air, there's just this sizzle, this magic. Everywhere you go, it's inspired poets, it's inspired actors and musicians. There's something about Paris you can't put your finger on, but it is exclusively the city of romance. I would say most honeymoons are unforgettable, but in Paris it becomes even more unforgettable. In the heart of this great city lies the physical embodiment of romance, the Hotel Ritz Paris. Described by its founder as the height of elegance, luxury, and refinement, it's also number two on UberGuide's countdown of the most romantic honeymoon resorts. In Paris, the most romantic city in the world, it's got the Hotel Ritz, which is hands down one of the most elegant, beautiful hotels in all of Paris. And it's this iconic, quintessential Parisian yum yum is what I like to call it. Naming it after himself, Caesar Ritz opened the hotel back in 1898. Together with culinary genius Auguste Escoffier, Ritz ensured the hotel became the creme de la creme of the hospitality world. There's just so much history and celebrity there. If you want a piece of that, that's where to stay. In the century since opening its doors, the Ritz has evolved to become the pinnacle and very definition of luxury. The opulence begins outside the hotel in the Place Vendôme. It is a gorgeous romantic, it is the most romantic. It's very, it's very elegant. The column in the center was erected by Napoleon himself. Guess who's on top? Some of the most expensive shops in the world can be found right here. The perfect afternoon respite after a morning of lovemaking. Gorgeous steps going down the Place Vendôme with the red carpet and there's always, you know, beautiful cars in front of it, wedding. So this is very elegant experience. It's like you're almost a king or a queen when you go there because you just have to walk down those stairs into this majestic, you know, place there. It's just amazing. Indeed. Many of the world's highest profile figures have spent at least one evening here. Of course, I mean, there's romance icons that have been there and stayed there and lived there, like Rudolph Valentino and F. Scott Fitzgerald and Greta Garbo. Of all those famous guests that have graced the Ritz, two have had their memories permanently fixed here. The first was writer Ernest Hemingway. Bar Hemingway is named after him. And then there is fashion icon Coco Chanel. Crowned one of the most influential people of the 20th century, Chanel lived in the Ritz for nearly 40 years. Her apartment, now dubbed the Coco Chanel Suite, expresses intimacy, understated elegance, and sophisticated charm. And the part of the history which is different from a museum is when you go to the museum, you usually 
look at the piece of art, you enjoy it for a few minutes, and you move on to the next one. But what happens in Coco Chanel Suite is actually you end up living the spirit of the suite. You're part of it, which makes this is a priceless and one-of-a-kind experience. The opulence of the suites is off the hook. The ambience of the hotel is sure to inspire the most passionate dreams a honeymooning couple could ever hope to have. A honeymoon at the Ritz is a honeymoon that's worth getting married for, let me say. The Ritz Hotel is spectacular. We love it. It's very gorgeous. And it's just so beautiful inside that you'd have to believe it's the, it's the hotel for lovers. The Ritz oozes romance from opulence to luxurious suites to an attentive staff. It's the best of the best. Yes, the Hotel Ritz Paris is unquestionably a fabulous spot to enjoy the caresses of your lover and the passion of Paris. And this is why it's dialed in as Uber Guide's number two pick for most romantic honeymoon resort. The curtain will be pulled back on the number one love spot for honeymooners after the break. Don't go away. Here we are, the number one pick on Uber Guide's countdown of the most romantic honeymoon resorts is ready to be unveiled. Grab a glass of champagne, it's showtime. It's imperative to choose a honeymoon getaway that will get everything right. And that's why the Cove Resort in the Bahamas tops our Uber list. Located east of the tip of Florida, the Bahamas consist of 700 islands spread over 100,000 square miles. The Cove is aptly situated on Paradise Island, which is also home to five other resorts, all of which fly under the Atlantis banner. They're all constructed around an amazing water park. Of the six, the cove was undoubtedly built specifically with romance in mind. It's this, this feel of sophistication and this strong line of quality that's just running through it. It's remarkable. It's a beautiful venue and like nothing I've seen. It's taking the idea of Atlantis and just making it a little bit more grown up, which I think is one of the things that we look for when we're going on a honeymoon. The project has turned out very much the way I had hoped it would. It's memorable. I'd like to think it's somewhat magical. I'd like to think it's unique. Um, it's, I'd like to think very much it's unlike uh, other properties in the world. You can be in a place that's very, very private, very sexy, and very chic. And for a honeymoon or for a romantic vacation, I think that that is very appealing to a lot of people. There's no need for any foreplay here. The serious love action begins the second you enter your room. The rooms themselves have a lot of high-end amenities like 42-inch flat-screen TVs. They have these freestanding bathtubs next to the windows so you can look out onto the water. The restaurant selection at the Cove is delicious, with celeb chef Bobby Flay's Mesa Grill the crown jewel. I think that food of the southwest of the United States lends itself really well to the local food um, of the Bahamas. A lot of the same ingredients, maybe not used in the same way, but there's a lot of, uh, there's definitely a lot of similarities. There's also Mosaic, a Mediterranean diner, Japanese fusion at Nobu, or just simple American cuisine at Cafe Martinique. Whatever your cravings, the Cove definitely satisfies. Plus, there's Aura, a trend-setting nightclub that's ground zero for dance floor divas from around the world. The most unique aspect of the Cove is the resort's commitment to marine wildlife. Make sure you don't get into an argument with your honey here, or you might end up in the shark tank. We have probably one of the larger holding facilities of, of any aquarium facility um, here at Atlantis. Plus, we've got a full lab. The Cove also offers the experience of a lifetime, swimming with dolphins. Plus, the Marine Center adopted 17 dolphins displaced during Hurricane Katrina. What could be more chivalrous than that? 
The marine mammal specialists here at Atlantis, we've all bonded with the Katrina dolphins. In order to have a great relationship, you must build that trust. And we've all been working very hard from day one, building a trusting relationship with each and every animal that we have here. But if observing the fish action in the water isn't enough for you, you can always dive in yourself or just relax with your honeymoon sweetheart in one of the private cabanas that line the beach. But the relaxation doesn't end in the sun. The new spa at Atlantis is a 30,000 square foot, two story Balinese magical place. As a matter of fact, the relaxation doesn't ever end here. The Cove offers an Atlantic-sized menu of things to do for newlyweds, which is why it's number one on Uber Guide's countdown of the world's most romantic honeymoon resorts. The ultimate honeymoon is like a sensuous dream come true, where delicious memories are made that will last a lifetime. If you're in the mood for love and money is no object, then you'll surely fall for Uber Guide's list of the world's most romantic honeymoon resorts.